Hey my loves, welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry I still have a cold, so you're gonna have to deal with this raspiness of my voice. But if you wanna see how I got this gorgeous color using this bomb wig that I got from sansbeauty.com, definitely keep on watching. So here is the unit that I got from samsbeauty.com. It is from the Upscale brand. And I believe this brand may be exclusive to um, samsbeauty.com. I'm not exactly sure. But it is a full 613 unit. And it is a lace front. This is how it comes packaged. Very nicely packaged. Um, it comes with all the stuff and can everything on it. So here is that beautiful 613 color. I was so tempted to just keep it 613, but I really wanted to try this color so bad. Um, my voice is horrible, guys. I'm so sorry, but I really need to get these videos out. So this is, like I said, a lace front. You're going to get two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. Um, you will get about three and a half inches of parting towards the middle and it does taper off towards the sides though So and obviously it does have soft lace So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my uh, styrofoam wig head so you guys can see up close what the hairline is looking like so here is what the hairline looks like it is not the best You're definitely gonna have to go in and tweeze it just a tad for it to look more natural So here I have my um, bowl full of hot water and it's not super duper hot. It doesn't have to be. You definitely don't want to burn yourself trying to dye a wig, okay? So I take um, some Adore color and this one is in Spiced Pumpkin, I believe. But I'm going to leave it down in the description box below just so you can have that for your information. And I'm just going to pour about half of that bottle in there and swirl it up. I have noticed that when doing this watercolor method, if you want the color to be a little bit more vibrant and, you know, kind of um, a little bit more potent, I guess, you definitely have to use less water because the more water um, you use, the more kind of um, the color won't show up as well. So hopefully that makes sense. But anyway... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and dunk the wig in and I'm going to make sure that those two pieces that I have in the front braided off, I want those pieces to remain blonde so I'm just not going to dunk those pieces at all. Super self explanatory but I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood that I braided those off so that they will remain blonde. So right here I'm just taking out the braids and I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of that color and go ahead and apply it directly to the roots and I'm going to do that all across the front and towards the middle as well just to make sure that the roots are darker. I wanted that um, the roots to be a little bit darker than the rest of the hair. So after rinsing the hair, this is what it looks like. Went ahead and let it deep condition as well. So um, yeah, so it could just still be as soft as possible. It still remained pretty soft, so I was impressed. But I went ahead and clipped the ends just so it didn't look as, you know, kind of frayed. So 
Um, I'm going to go in with the Esha Absolute uh, Lace Glue and I'm going to go ahead and do two layers of that. Once you do one layer, you have to make sure that the first layer is clear before you add the second layer. So I'm just going to go in and do that. I'm not doing the ball cap method this time. Um, it does take a long time and it's just not even necessary all the time. So um, especially with this unit, I'm definitely just going to wear it as a middle part anyway. So yeah, I didn't really see the need to do the ball cap method. So right here, I'm just gonna apply the unit, um, the middle, and then I'm just gonna work on the sides. Um, but yeah, I know you guys are tired of my horrible voice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though my voice is a mess. I love you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me these last few videos when I have been extremely sick. So definitely keep me in your prayers and go ahead and stay um, watching the rest of the video. All right, y'all, so here is the final look. Um, so sorry about my voice yet again. Um, I'm just trying to get these videos out. Still under the weather, but it is what it is. I gotta keep pushing, okay? So, this hair was inspired by a picture that I've seen on a group called Wig Slayers on Facebook, and I believe she may have got it from Instagram because I did see the picture kind of floating around on there as well. I'm not exactly sure who the original stylist is. Uh, forgive me, please. I like to give credit what it's due. Um, but yeah, it seemed like it was just being like reposted by a whole bunch of different hair pages and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure who exactly was the person who, you know, originated this color and like, you know, the style and everything. So yes but it was inspired by somebody else i did want to say that but this is absolutely gorgeous I sh um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up make sure that you um subscribe if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads and i believe that is it i love you guys so much and i will see you queens in my next video deuces oh yeah be beautiful especially on the inside <laughs>